This is I from Ask God Solar. I had to do this impromptu video testing this dip out with a couple 50 watt panels. I have been making a couple shorts about this, but it just became a whole thing. So enjoy this testing video. I decided on the 50 watt Renergy to try it out. And you can see that it's plugged in here and it's getting power. I hope you can see that because I can't see it because my screen is filthy. But one thing that I noticed is over here, this thing is fickle. Now this is a Blue Eddy MC4 to 8mm cable and when I plug it all the way in it dies. But you can see it is, it's bouncing all over the place. Can you see that? Bring you in the shade. 6.4. Now it's a 50 watt panel laying flat. The sun is kind of overhead. It's not ideal. I can get consistent 9 volts if I tilt it up. So let's do that in a second. This little 50 watt Renergy panel does have folding legs on it. They're kind of <laughs> wimpy, but they get the job done. Now you can see it's doing 5.4 volts and 1 amp. Let's see if the phone is charging now. See if the phone is charging, it's charging rapidly. So here's a peculiar thing. Now watch this. This device is not all the way plugged in. When I push it all the way in, it turns off, which is bananas to me. So the next thing I'm gonna try is I'm gonna go get the X-Star panel and then pop it out, lay it flat, and just pop its natural eight millimeter connection into here because it doesn't have any adapters. It's a eight millimeter joint. Now it does have an eight millimeter MC4 to turn it into a more normal panel, but that's neither here nor there. Wanna know something peculiar? I literally very rarely, come on door, shut up. I very rarely use this, eight, this XR panel, mainly because eight millimeter is covered by so much else. Look at the spider webs and stuff coming off of it. All right, now this panel's on deck. Typically these 100 watt panels, when they're laying fat, they'll produce like maybe 55, 58, 60 watts. But I am coming off of the summer months. Winter months could show completely different numbers. Now, let me just put this into perspective for you. The reason why I wanted to do a 50 watt panel is because I have a 50 watt Renergy unused as I talked about in the short. This scenario, if this works perfectly, is not ideal. I mean, it could work in this situation because, well, what I'm gonna say is this is not ideal because I don't wanna waste a 100 watt panel trying to give 45 watts to something. If this was like a 60 watt, I could kinda be okay with that, but these panels are meant to produce much more power and this one is definitely meant to produce much more power it's one of the most effective and efficient panels 100 watt panels that they make so there you have it and it's like why wouldn't that work right 9 volts 1.6 amps which is what like about 15 watts which qualifies as rapid charging for this phone right here charging rapidly but that's not ideal for me. I, I don't know a scenario where I want to carry around a 100 watt panel just to get 45 watts. Let's do a little size comparison here. This is the Renault G. They don't make these anymore. I bought this one kind of on the whim because it was, what was it? It's a 50 watt and I think I got it for like $70. If it puts out about 35, 38 volts, which it does, then I paid two dollars per watt for actual output but that's not what the video is about if you watch any of my videos you know i'm a stickler for two dollars per watt on real output not rated output so actually looking at that i mean that is smaller that's not that much bigger but i like this situation because this was more like mobile friendly but it doesn't seem like this particular cable can power that off top now, I do have some things I can try, which I probably will do. Let's do that. So just for clarity, I don't have another like eight millimeter cable that I could try that's a different brand. I'll have to adapt this to that. So I could put this in here, adapt that to eight millimeter and see if that works any better, which I don't want to do because that defeats the purpose for me. <laughs> it's like to have this be like a joint that's like MC4 to 5521 to eight millimeter gives me a point of not failure but a point of disconnection that's easy i wanted it and then that's multiple you could have it unplugged from here and you could also have this unplugged from there and i wasn't a fan of that but i'm gonna see if it's gonna work because you know i like options Renergy is red let's see what's popping uh wait 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 no 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 it's working nine volts charging rapidly which is about 15 watts, 
1.4 amps so at least it's working but this is what I was talking about another point of disconnection which is not that big a deal but I it would have been nice to just be able to go MC4 to 8 millimeter now what comes into play I have to make sure that these <laughs> blue eddy cables work because I have not used them since I bought them they were at like ten dollars a pop and I imagine they sold them at ten dollars a pop because they got a lot of flack for that EB3A not having cables included that's my guess but what do I know some people also mentioned that if you email Blue Eddy, if you got the EB3A, you can email them and they'll send you a free cable. Someone even mentioned that they got reimbursed for the cable. I was really seriously thinking about using this 50 watt Renergy panel for this, but this is honestly a more perfect scenario because you think about that. That's meant to be outside. It's hard. You know what I mean? It's like it's, it's not the most portable thing. And I was considering that one as well because that one would be it feels like it's the smallest of the 50 watt panels actually i started to look into 50 size 60 watt panels that were folding because i feel like that would be a better companion for this to get that extra little bump to 60 which will probably realistically get me closer to 40 <laughs> uh, but i didn't like the size of any of them i'm still looking though but i think as far as like what this is it's a little small box that's good for charging phones and devices. This is probably the perfect pairing for that.